hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is olori lara uh, in this in today's video i'd like to be sharing with us another kind of business that anyone can venture into and who am i talking about i'm actually talking about the sales of hair extension are you so passionate about selling of hair extension you don't know how to go about it you don't know where to get the product you don't know anything as touching the baby is something that you desire in your mind to do kindly sit down get a bottle of drink and at the end of today's video you'll be able to start your hair business without any form of endurance mm -hmm. actually here uh, here business is a kind of business that anyone can venture into and is something that you can start with a little capital and as time goes on you can then expand the the business we have two types of ear extension we have the synthetic and we have the uma hair uh, the, the synthetic are the uh, this normal ordinary um uh, attachments that we normally use to, to make our hair, things like the expression, all this yucky flip, scary, multi, all these large products and mangoes and the rest of them. And another one is the the Yuma hair, as in the uh, the Brazilian, the Peruvian, Cambodian, um, Indian hair, European hair. Those are the natural hair. They come in different uh, quality. They come in terms of different uh, inches. And their price also differ. And their names are the result of where the products actually come from. So, if you want to start, you are, you can start with the all these uh, synthetic hair first. And as time goes on, you can then decide to bring in the human hair. And... In this business, it's something that you can start and you, you you go around showing people, your friends, your colleagues at work, your church members, your neighbors. You can even liars with some hairdressers around you. You can either give them the product to sell on your behalf or you can give them your contact so that anytime the, uh, any customer needs it, they can easily get in touch with you to get the product from you. So it's something you can start in the comfort of your own. You can also advertise on all social media handles like the Facebook, the Instagrams, and Twitter. Um, you can even create a WhatsApp group and introduce your business and you start selling from there. So, and it's, a, it's also a, a business that you can you can start by renting a shop if it's something that you want to start on a big level you can as well rent a shop and start um, um selling your you my hair but the thing is that if you want to go into any business like i used to tell people you have to know the basic you have to have a real knowledge of the business you are going into you can't just because you have the money you just go to the market you just buy. At, at times you might even make mistake of not buying from the right source and if you don't buy from the right source selling might be difficult because you will be selling at a higher price that it might not be it might not all go away for the people that will be that will want to buy so you have to have basic knowledge where to get your materials from you don't want to get it um, directly from the manufacturer or you want to get it from the distributor the quantity you want to go into will determine where you get your materials from so you have to do your feasibility studies you as in you have to know the capital involved you have to know the turnover that you are likely to get from the from the business you have to know where to buy you have to know how to care for the, for, for the product because like the like the human hair is something that have to be handled with a lot of care it is not something you can just carry and just be carried anyhow because it's, it must not be folded it was it must not be a uh, rough handled it must not be squeezed you have to lay them flat either you are carrying it in a bag you have to lay them flat straight in your bag or or even no matter where you want to put it, you just have to handle it with, with care. If not, they, 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 they will get rough easily and they will not look that attractive to the people that you are going to sell and to sell to. So you have to have basic knowledge of the business as a where to buy so that you'll be able to buy at a very reasonable price. 
that you also be able to sell after all, you are not the only one selling in your locality you are not the only one selling in your area so you have other competitors and you don't have to sell higher than what other people are selling if you sell higher you might not be able to sell you might not even sell on time so you have to buy at a very reasonable price so that you'll be able to sell and also to make profit from from what you are selling so another thing is that another thing is that if you have enough money you can as well rent a shop is a kind of business that will generate enough profit that will cover for the shop that you have gotten and the thing is that if you if you are renting a shop you have to sell other hair accessories other hair products that will, that, will, that will also sell well with the human hair. We have a lot of things that you can uh, uh, put into the business as well. Things like the realizer, um, uh, ear cream, ear oil, wavon oil, combs, uh, ear gel, um, um, gum, needle, thread, wool, even all these uh, children's wool, beads that they normally put in the children here dandruff cream all those here accessories cutting comb and the rest of them you have to put all this kind of thing in the shop so that when ordinary people come to buy all this kind of thing they will see the other good things they will see the human air and other things that you are selling and they, they will even be the one that will advertise on your behalf they will tell people that Ah, they can get good things, they can get nice things from so so, so place and they tell people about your your business. So it's something that that you will sell well, you will do well if you have a shop. And another thing is not just having a shop, you have to be friendly. You have to be friendly with customer. You you have to do a lot of things that, that will keep customer coming to your business. Things like doing promo, you can buy all these uh, she, uh, sheep items like the hair pencil. Uh, you can, if it's something you can do, all these uh, uh, face, uh, facial massage, pedicure, manicure. You can make it a promo that okay, if you buy goods worth so 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 amount, these are the kind of services you can get for, for the products that you have bought. And if if people buy things, you can give them something like all these uh, cotton comb, uh, uh, take comb. You can just give them as a gift for the things that uh, these kind of things will keep people coming to your shop. It will keep a lot of customers. It will make referrals to come to your shop, and you continue to be in the business and to make profits. After all, uh, profit is, is the is the, so is the reason for any business. Why are we doing business if not for if not to make profit? So if you if you know how to, to, to be friendly with your customers, how to greet um bond with your customers, laugh with them, joke with them, these are the kind of things that people like and that will keep them coming to your place. And another thing is that you have to make your shop so much attractive, you have to arrange your shop in such a way that it will it will catch the eyes of people. It's not the one that people will come, they want to buy something, you start looking for uh, uh, maybe one product here, you will not see it, you start searching for another place, and you tell them, I, I have it too, uh, just I don't know. No, you have to be organized, you have to arrange, arrange your products accordingly. You have to have different shelves for, for different products that anytime any customer comes, you know where to go easily and pick out the product that they, they want. And another thing is that you have to beat your competitors. You have to beat your competitors in terms of your services, in terms of the care in, that you show your, in terms of friendliness that you show your customers. You have to beat your competitors. And it's something that you have to go around. Know how much other competitors are selling their products. If possible, you can come a bit lower. Even if, even with ordinary 100 naira or 50 naira, you will see people coming from afar because of this little change that, that has been reduced from your price. So if you are able to beat your competitors, see you will do well in that business you will continue having customer you will not even have um, um, um uh, enough time to, as in time will not as in I, 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 how, how do i explain it that you will be so busy you'll be so busy in the business and if you are fortunate to be a kind of person that know how to make a 
that's even an added advantage you can just use this opportunity to be making and if it's possible you can even employ the service of um hair stylist that will just stay in your shop and be making hair for people and they will buy your products they will use it there and things like that and a lot of things that you can actually do in order to in order to keep the business going, in order to continue to to make uh, profits, and when we're talking about where to get your your uh, items, like if you are in Lagos, all these synthetic here you can get them from the manufacturer. If you if you if you buy just one uh, product, like all this expression here, you can see their telephone there. Even if you if you if you get in touch with them, if they will not send a letter to you, they can link you up with a, a distributor that will sell to you. Because most times you don't just go to the factory to buy; it has it must have a quantity that you have to 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 buy before you can be able to buy from the from the manufacturer. So most time, manufacturer can link you up with uh, with all these uh, distributors where you'll be able to to be buying your items and for all these uh, yeah, you might uh, it's something that you can buy directly from the uh, abroad manufacturers if you go to uh, aliexpress you see contacts of all these uh, abroad manufacturers you see their contacts uh, contacts you get in touch with them they tell you the terms and conditions of their sales they tell you how to make payments how to how to get the products down to you and a lot of things like that so it's something that you can just call them to make inquiries and find out about about the their products, about the prices and things like that. And it's something that you can even you can even try to to check the prices if it's possible, if it's okay for you to buy within the country, or if it's better to buy from abroad and things like that. So here yeah, business is a kind of business that you will do well, you will sell well. Go around your vicinity, check people that are selling it, see how much they are, see how well they are doing. See how well they are doing in the business, and you you'll be so interested in doing this kind of uh, business. With this little that I've been able to discuss, I, I believe that you'll be able to, as in, do more research about it before going to the business. And once you enter the business, I can assure you that it's a business that you are going to stay in and do well. Yeah, I stopped today. If you enjoyed today's video, kindly give a like, give a thumbs up, give a share, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Till I see you in another video. Thanks and God bless you. Bye for now.